Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we have uh, Kelly's Contraption from Cowbell Brewing. It's right over here uh, on this shirt. It wasn't going to be a beer I was going to drink today, but uh, when I brought the box down, I was taking stuff out of the box. Uh, one of the bottles of cider fell over, and it actually punctured the can right here where my finger is, right here. So when I peel the can up, it's going to start spraying everywhere, hence why it's like this. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get it into the glass yet, but uh, Kelly's contraption. Oh, oh, there. It's starting. Oh, oh, there. Lots of head on that beer. I just wanted to get it out. So Kelly's contraption is a New World Hefeweizen. It is 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, John and Kelly was a steam engine. Oh, sorry. John B. Kelly was a steam engine. Genius. Engineer and inventor. Who built a working automobile in Blythe, Ontario in 1883. You know what? It's getting hard to read. <laughs> As much of a joke as these things were, they are coming in handy. Um, so John B. Kelly was a steam engine genius, engineer, and inventor who built a working automotive, well, automobile in Blythe, Ontario in 1883. For years before, four years before Henry Ford, the weird unpainted contraption was fitted with iron artillery wheels and made such a racket that it frightened horses and was eventually banned from the road no oh, sorry from the mud streets okay so yeah there we go oh and look the head's uh, dwindling away good so we'll try and uh, put the rest of this in here so we didn't lose all that much beer but we lost some beer. I mean, we can't deny there was some, there was some beer loss, unfortunately. Uh, shirt is done its duty. Kelly's contraption. Tiny bit more in there. Bang. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, looks like a half bison. Beautiful golden color. It's very hazy crazy. Can't see my hand through. Can't see my hand through it. Hazy crazy. I'm wearing the original Albino Rhino Beer Review shirt, guys. The original. The original. I'd lost a lot of weight after my, uh, my ex-wife left. And I thought I gained it all back. I gained some of it back, but this shirt fit. So I didn't gain it all back because this shirt never fit before. Uh, let's give her a sniff. Ah, uh, coriander, a little bit of uh, it smells like cloves are in there actually. Kind of has the pilsner esque scent out of the out of the can. It's kind of like grassy and grassy and spicy out of the can, and clovey and coriander out of the glass. Whatever, let's try it. Cheers. Very easy to drink. Excuse me. Little tiny touch of a, of a weedy, like a, like mm, creamed wheat almost back end. A little bit of cloviness, uh, just drying out the back of the palate. All in all, very neutral beer. Very easy drinking. Very refreshing. If this was uh, if this was cold, I could just punch them back all day long. The way it is right now, I probably could too. About medium bodied. Um, medium mouthfeel, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, a little bit of uh, cloviness as well as a little bit of almost almost cut grass and uh, and pine. I like this beer. It's a nice little beer. 
I would I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. I actually think this is a solid little beer. I'm glad I got to drink it tonight. It was going to be something I would drink sometime in the future, but it wasn't going to be tonight. Um, the pile of review beers just keeps growing, so um, every week I get told that the guys are coming over because, uh, you know, I've been going insane being alone. And every week they turn me down, so we'll just do some beers on our own. Fuck the guys, right? Yep. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>